Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer. This is my uh, second video here at my jungle base in Minecraft. I uh, started out the other one, uh, came over here, and started reshaping the river to my liking and planting some crops. Set up a bed over in here in this nice natural ring of rock, which I think is just great, and I'm getting shot at. Um, and I'm going to keep expanding it from here. Alright, so... Let's see. I'm going to need to take this tree down at some point, but for now, I think I'm going to focus on the farming. And I'm actually going to need another hoe, so I should probably go take care of that. Okay. That'll probably do. And I really do need to make a chest, actually, because I've got way too much stuff here. Surprised I don't have... Any wood other than uh, in log form, but anyway. Okay. Go. Anything I don't immediately need, I'm just going to throw in here. And that'll probably do it. Yeah. There we go. The, uh,. There's got to be a cave under here. I keep hearing a zombie every time I come down here. Didn't mean to do some of that. <laughs> this right here. And that. I mean, these things would go away on their own. It's uh, over four blocks away from the uh, water, so it's not going to last, but I'm going to take care of it myself. And hey, got some more wheat. Anything else down here? One more, two more. Looking forward to getting the potatoes. Probably still going to be a little while though. Um, I mean, they drop randomly from uh, some zombies. I took care of that, and that's good. Or you can uh, find them in villages and their in their little plots of farmland. But uh, I don't really know any, where any of those are at the moment, and I'm not really going to go hunting them down just for potatoes. They also have carrots and stuff like that, but um, I don't really need carrots right now either. Alright, um, let's see. I really do need more coal, because I need to start making some stone. Oh, let's see. Uh, dirt. I will climb on dirt. I'm going to try to avoid uh, altering the stone around here too much, just at the moment, because I want to have it be as intact as it is right now uh, when I actually get around to building the walls up around it. But I do want to get this coal out of here, so I'll do that. Take this back out. And uh, I'm actually going to put... Do I have any more torches? I can make some. There we go. I'm going to put a torch up here. Otherwise, they're going to start spawning this little crevice. There we go. Okay. It's funny to me how squid spawn in rivers. It's just not something you'd really expect to see. But, uh, anyway. Whoa. That was definitely unexpected. But, anyway. I have to dig out this channel over here and... God, I hate these giant oak trees. Sorry. Um, just... They really are a pain in the ass to cut them down. It's not like um, the other typical tall trees, like uh, you get jungle giants, you just cut them straight. You climb all the way to the top and you cut your way down. Uh, in terms of these oak trees, it's like hunt for the tiny bits of wood hidden away inside the enormous amount of foliage. And again, because there's no real tool made specifically for cutting uh, foliage, you just uh, have to do it with whatever you got. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to take a quick look through these leaves. See if I see any more. I don't know that I do. Best thing to do is just to get right down on the ground underneath it and look up 
and see if you see anything, but given that I'm already up in the tree, I can't really do that. I just kind of, kind of hope that I see stuff. There we go. Anything else over here? Hard to tell. Yeah, from the ground, uh, because all the textures are uh, in exactly the same spots, and the clear spots are always in, in the exact same spots, you can see basically through it like it's a mesh thing, you know. Uh, unfortunately, though, when you're looking through stuff diagonally, you're not really able to see that because they're kind of overlaying each other. Here we go. Another hidden back in here. All right. Yep, there's some more. Okay. Take care of this branch. Look, there's another one over there. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, they're not the worst thing about Minecraft, but I certainly think they're up there in terms of annoying things to have to deal with. Okay, I think that's it. For this tree, at least. Okay. Gather up the wood and saplings that have fallen. Some more down in here. Interesting how these these like uh, deep trenches, and then it just runs right into a uh, earthen area that there's no water going through at all. I'm gonna take care of that. And <laughs> I like how the water just stops right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, this will be a corner here. Not really anything in there. This is just kind of like a little. Cave that never really generated. I'm gonna fill it in. Uh, that works. Actually, let's make it so I can climb up on this if I need to. There we go. Dig this out a little bit and uh, seven units wide, just like every other part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this will be the pathway on the other side. Luckily that jungle giant is over one more block, otherwise I'd feel obligated obligated to do something about that. Although, at this point I'd probably just uh, kind of dig a tunnel rather than dig all the way up. Yeah, this whole area seems to be, have been a little cave or something, or maybe the way the river carved through it turned it into kind of a cave, but I don't really think that'd be the case. I've never seen it before, at least, if that is what happens. What did I just get? Recipes. Who knows? I picked up some gravel. Maybe that's what they're talking about. What can you do with gravel? Coarse dirt. Okay. That makes sense. Which, coarse dirt, uh, grass never grows in it, so it makes an effective path if you want to mark the way. And I just ran out of shovel. And rather than run all the way back up there, I'm going to make another, uh, what am I thinking of? Workbench crafting table, I guess is what it's actually called. Okay. And there we go. Looking forward to when I get iron tools. I do use stone tools a lot, just because, I mean, they're extremely cheap to make, but iron tools do work much faster, and if you get yourself an iron farm up and running, which I hopefully will do that at some point here, uh, you just get, you get to where you got an abundance of iron to where it's like you've got to like almost throw it away in order to get rid of it. I must have gotten some flint. Is it already almost night? I think it might be. Alright, well, this is the edge here. I'm going to at least dig this out and get some torches on the wall here. This is kind of the gateway currently to my little area. There we go. Okay, and let's do it over here as well. And gonna dig this out. It's not gonna really be quite right. And actually let's uh, finish off this side over here before I go any further digging out the middle area. 
continue to have like this little path along the side, all dirt with grass growing in it eventually. Once the grass gets over to it. <laughs> Which, if you have a um, feather touch enchantment, I believe, on your uh, shovel, you can dig up, or really anything. I've used it on a pick before as well. Uh oh. But if you've got it on a pick, even, you can pick up grassy dirt. Yeah, definitely time to get back over and use the bed, though. Although I would like some more of this foliage to dissipate before I come back over this way. Not that I'm going to be spending that much time over here. I just kind of want to get a uh, general uh, introductory state going over here where it's the way it's supposed to be, you know, until I get uh, more time and resources to invest in this area. Let's see if this thing's going to recognize uh, what's going on when I cut this way. There we go. Now it knows that there's actually space to expand. I do need a bucket in order to uh, actually fill this in fully, and I'm not going to dig down until the water above is uh, fully level and not rushing anywhere or anything like that. Ran out of shovel again, but the river is now joined. There we go. I'll have to dig this corner out a little bit and this uh, kind of wall over here. I will eventually put some more kind of terraced farms in here, uh, but I just got the one layer of farm right now. Get rid of that. Maybe get rid of some of this foliage. And definitely need a torch over here. It's really dark. Okay. At some point, I'm also going to need to make this indoors. Which is kind of funny. To uh, constantly be sleeping in the outdoors. I mean, it's, I'm technically got, got a roof over my head, but it's not one that I've built, and I prefer that. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need... Well, I've got some food growing. Uh, but I'd like to up the amount that I'm getting from that. Okay. Arrows, anything else? Saplings. And I don't really need the wheat. Not on me, at least. And let's make some shovels and picks. And... Put one extra in there, but that's not really a problem. I'll use that shovel. There we go. Right. Yeah, at some point I am going to have to start mining down, because, I mean, I ran out of the little tiny bit of coal I had right there. And I've only got 11 torches left at this point. I guess that's the first time I've gotten any red flowers. Okay. Let's cut this back a little bit. And then dig this back. Alright, so I dug that out. Let's fill in this little area with dirt. And then I'll be able to expand the farm a little bit more. Although I don't have enough seed to really make that worth anything at the moment. But I am going to end the field here. Dig this out a little bit. And I also do eventually want to make it kind of a uniform depth to the river as well. But for now it's just going to be the way it is. I'm gonna need some torches in this corner for when night falls. And there we go. And I think one there would be a good idea. And then let's cut this back a little bit as well. I'm gonna start making some stairs up there or something because for too long I'm not gonna have any real way to get up there. Why did I not make any axes? This is kind of weird. Not sure why that didn't pop into my head. I'll do for now. Okay. I really do need to find some iron at some point. 
What is with all the parrots that I seem to keep seeing, like, swimming or being stuck under trees? Weird. Right, got some clay. Did you hear something? I guess you... I'm hearing that parrot moving around and it's splashing is reminding me a little bit of the hissing of a creeper. Okay, well, let's see. I don't need to fill in anything but that. I'll do that as well there. I get some seeds here. And let's dig this out a little bit. Kind of outside of my territory, but at the same time, it's uh, kind of the entry uh, point to it. So I'm going to kind of spread the style of the area out here a little bit. Even if I'm not going to necessarily narrow the river up to seven units wide, I am going to still uh, make it so that it's got the same line coming out of my area. And I'm also going to put a torch out here. In case I ever start wandering off and I get lost out there, I'll know that this is my area because it's got a uh, torch out in front. I should also get the uh, coordinates written down somewhere, so if I ever get lost I can find my way back. Or use a compass. Compasses always point towards your bed, at least as far as I know. Or to your save point, I guess, is really what it is. So It'll point to the origin if you haven't uh, used a bed since uh, and you've died. Let's see. Okay, got a little bit more wood here. Alright. I think that is good enough. I don't need to expand that out any further. Foliage will all vanish over time. Well, I'll get this as well. Excellent. Back on in. Really want to dig that out. <laughs> Not at all necessary, I know, but eventually it will. I'm gonna, I think I want to do something, some sort of like guard post entry there and there on that side as well and like do like a bridge across that. Kind of neat to do. Alright, there we go. Should have saved one of those. Uh, not because, like, I absolutely had to have it, but because it saves the spot in the inventory so that when you pick up the wheat, it doesn't automatically take the position of the uh, point you have open in your uh, quick slots. Excellent. I can make uh, thatch for thatch roofs and, I guess, hay bales and all that. Bad. I've actually got a pretty good amount of, uh, of wheat at this point. You know, I have not planted that sugar cane yet. I probably should. I'm never going to have a viable crop of it, at least. Let me get rid of those. Get to bring order to the chaos. Got to get rid of some of the vines and reorder the terrain and everything like that. So let's see. I think we got sugar cane in here. Yes, two pieces. Oh, and some seeds, actually. And I don't actually need a lot of this other stuff, so I'm going to leave it here. Uh, the clay, sand, some more dirt that I don't really need. And I'll leave some wheat here. Until I turn it into bread, it's not of any actual use to me, so. And just for now, I'm going to plant the sugar cane right over here. I'll figure out a better place for it eventually, but it needs to be right next to water, and I don't really want to cross that just at the moment, so. There we go. I'm going to have to figure out a proper way of doing a chicken coop out here, because I know ocelots will go after your chickens. I hear a skeleton. There's got to be something just like right under this area. So which way does the river actually go here? More flowers, more grass for seeds. More 
trees I'll have to cut down. Let's see about this. I'll start taking out these little ones. Of course, the, uh, even if you take out the actual source of the foliage, the rest of it won't dissipate until you take out the uh, trees that are nearby. Kind of annoying, but it is the most simple way of setting that stuff up. Make it so that so long as it's got a chunk of tree near it, it's not going to dissipate on its own. Otherwise, you'd have to effectively make it so that every single piece of foliage is directly connected to an individual tree trunk. Which would take a lot more extra data that you don't really need. I mean, it's not like this is a huge problem. so dark in here with all the trees and stuff that at the time I think it's almost nightfall and who knows that might be coming on again but there we go apple tree in the middle of the jungle it's nice not really where you find apples but <laughs> they get I'll need it at some point you can use uh, apples on horses and stuff like that Okay, there we go. I need to light this area. I mean, again, this is an area that's also not really in my area, just like that other area out front, but it's also my area adjacent, so... And this one's actually probably going to be more in my area. I'm probably going to spread this direction rather than the other direction. I'd rather be more in the jungle than closer to the edge of the jungle. Okay, there we go. Take care of that. And I'm going to have to cut down that tree. And this tree. Which I'm, I was thinking originally that this was a uh, one of those really tall oak trees. I wasn't really paying attention to the, uh, the texture on the sides of it. I'm glad that it's just one of these. So much easier to cut these things down. Okay. And I'm going to put another couple torches in here. Because it is really dark. And I'm going to need more torches, obviously. Out completely in the area around me isn't really all that well lit, lit yet, just yet, so. Okay. There we go. Nothing yet in the sugar cane area. Otherwise, I'd go cut it and replant some. Alright, back to bed. Okay. Anything I need specifically other than torches? Well, I can put some more stuff away. Okay, I think that's good for now. Yeah, I'm not really sure where I'm going to start digging down. I'll have to just find a point and just do it. But right now I just want to keep opening up this path over here. Okay. Eventually, once I get this whole area kind of walled in, I won't even bother with sleeping at night anymore. I'll just keep working through the night, but until that time comes, I've got to keep worrying about creepers and all kinds of other stuff, so I will keep sleeping at night for now. Alright, jungle giant time. Take care of this low-hanging branch, which is well we can, because we're looking right at it. And then climb on up. Okay. Kind of slow going at the very beginning up here, but it won't take that long. There we go. Got that. And then you kind of just go up in a spiral. And you can go up in a spiral from the very beginning, but uh, I typically... Try to get as high as I can so I don't have to do that. I mean, eventually you're going to have to cut down all the tree anyway. But I prefer to go all the way up as far as I can and start cutting it up from the top rather than cutting it from the bottom up. And another tree over there. I'm going to definitely have to take care of that. And if I'm going to follow the biome, it looks like I'm going to have to carve through this hill over here to make the river work. Although I'm probably going to try to keep those at right angles, the turns and stuff like that. I might completely just ignore the river biome and, uh, well, not ignore it completely, but come like straight this way and then come across. 
I was really just thinking for a second there maybe like tunneling through this wall, but that wouldn't end up in the right place either. Well, I could do it, and it would actually look pretty cool. I might. Is that dissipating at all? Yeah, <laughs> it's almost gone. And it is significantly brighter down here. I don't think it was dark enough to spawn monsters, but I do think at dusk they would have spawned quicker in this area with it here. Ugh, oh, jeez. Sorry if you uh, don't really like to hear me complain about these giant trees. These giant oaks, I mean, but... Ugh. They are... Just a pain. And who knows, they may not even take as long as a jungle giant. I honestly haven't really taken the time to time one. Uh, just a quick note here. You can see, if I look straight up, you can see the sunlight all the way through there, meaning that there's nothing there. Nothing there either. And let me do that. Uh, there's something up there. Yep. I think that's the next tree up even, but uh, I'll still take... Oh, jeez, it's another one of these. I think I saw this one while I was in the top of the jungle giant. Well, I was lucky. But I just fell on top of an oak tree instead of into the nothing. Okay. Nothing else up there. That's good. Let's cut it into this. And you know, just this type of uh, generation of a world, everything being in cubes, even if all these uh, parts of the tree are actually connected, they're not, you know, because you can't do a diagonal with cubes without it just having to be uh, sectioned off, separated, from, like different parts of the tree separated from other parts of the tree. Funny thing to consider is at some point here, I'm going to actually, whoa, major lag spike down to nothing. I don't know what that was. It's not a lag spike. I'm not doing this online, but with that uh, sudden massive drop in frame rate was. Uh, but the funny thing to consider is at some point I'm actually going to have to start planting trees if I don't want to just keep expanding out into the jungle and I don't want to. Okay. Alright. Take care of this. Not really the smartest thing to do what I just did there and cut straight down through the tree. Especially not when I'm up this high, just because there's always the chance that there's nothing there at the very bottom. Okay. And take care of that again. Back to the way it was. Now let's take care of this one down here. Oh, it grew into the, into the hillside. Okay. Yeah, there's obviously more over here. I'm just trying to make sure that there's nothing more anywhere else. Oh, there's some. I have to go up a little bit. Okay. Is that it? Or this, other than this and the other branch that goes straight off. Oh, broke another X. Kind of expected though. There we go. Actually, let's just cut down the top of this tree trunk here. Already up here anyway. And apparently should not have taken out in that uh, first block I took out. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Took care of that giant oak tree. Let's get rid of this little jungle one. And a tree clearing extravaganza here. Okay. I think that's all the trees I really actually had to clear along this little path, so that's nice. Wish I could get some more. Oh, there's some more jungle saplings. Excellent. Best kind of sapling there is, and the rarest. 
which don't have the same drop rate as the rest of them. Let's go harvest some wheat. There we go. There. Okay. Oh, another one turned before. <laughs> Just after I went past it. There we go. Wow. Sometimes it just happens right in the blink of an eye. Okay. Take care of this. Alright. And still no sugar cane. That's... Well, this one's not going to grow because it's got a torch right above it. Should have thought of that, but uh, the other one should grow. Should have been growing. Okay, let's see. Now, if I do dig straight through this cliff here and come out the other side and then just like have the uh, tunnel turn right over here into the river, that'd be kind of neat. I think I will do that actually, rather than have the uh, river go diagonally and follow this weird little channel here and it wouldn't look very good. So. And also, this will give me the possibility of finding some material that I want to mine. So, let's see. Yeah, I will cut this back to here. Let's see. How far do I want the... where do I want the tunnel to actually start? You know, I think I actually will have it, like, start right there, maybe. Just because... So there's already that cliff line that runs right along there. I'd kind of like just to uh, carry that line over, so I think I'll do that. Um, but I do still want to get rid of all the dirt in between there and the, the tunnel. And I'll replace this dirt here with stone. I still don't actually have any stone at the moment, so that's going to have to wait, but uh, I will still carve the dirt out of here. Alright, I forgot about that. There we go. And then turn this over to here. And let's carve out a path on this side. bed and let's get rid of these little shrubs and grass and stuff like that. This little tree. Good. And I'm going to definitely go back over and check and see if any more jungle saplings spawned or dropped I really mean in the uh, area where I just cut down all those trees. Man, night. I did not realize how short the day night cycle was. I guess I've spent too much time underground in Minecraft generally. No, well, oh, there's one. So, not a uh, complete loss. And we got some more apples. Anything else really up there? All dissipating. Okay. I really do need some more torches. I might actually burn some wood to uh, make some charcoal. I don't like doing that. It's really inefficient, but if it's what I gotta have, it's what I gotta have. Because uh, things are actually starting to get a little too dark. What is going on over here? These things should have definitely done something by now. I mean, it's not like I'm far enough away that they're not gonna generate, but I'll still plant them over here, I guess. I'll put them on the other side of the river. Maybe there's some sort of... Uh, Restriction that I just am not aware of. I don't think there is, though. I feel like I was thinking maybe they can't have a wall right behind it. I don't think that's the case, though, because I feel like I've done that before. But anyway, I'm going to leave those there this time and see if that helps. Okay. So, yeah, that'll be my start to the tunnel there. See if there's anything else I need to drop off. I'm sure there is. Yes, lots of stuff. And I'm going to need another chest, because I've got way too much to try to fit it in there. Whoa, not what I needed. Okay. 
There we go. Two of those. There we go. One more chest. Ah, oh, that's... Well, actually, yeah, I can do that. Go. Drop some of that in there. Some of that in there. That should do it. Still need to find more coal. Alright, the next day. Let's see if I can start making some headway into that tunnel. Again, really hoping I find some coal in there. Whoa. Oh. Thank you for destroying some of my cropland. There we go. See, occasionally you cut down a piece of wheat and it doesn't give you any seed. It's frustrating. Okay. There we go. Fill in that spot. And of course, as soon as this field's full and I'm no longer needing seed, I'll of course have way more than I can ever do anything with. But uh, time's not here yet. So, let's see. Gonna dig out the rest of the dirt um, on the wall at least. I'm gonna leave the uh, stuff that's on the ground temporarily because I don't really need it yet. Or does it really need to be removed immediately? Now I'm gonna make this tunnel for the river obviously as wide as the river and actually uh, a unit wider on each side to make a path and actually. You know what, I'm going to get rid of this stretch of field, so <laughs> that zombie really didn't do anything but wrong, uh, so that I can have like a little path that runs along the side there. A few more seeds. Because I am pretty set on where this tunnel will start, but I didn't uh, have a real location for a path until I did what I just did, so... I'll do, let's see, fill that in like that. I still will fill that in with a uh, stone wall. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to dig in on this side as well. And I think I'm going to make this seven, well, nine units wide, including the paths on the side, and four units high. And I'm going to carve out the fifth level so I can have a uh, stone wall, or a stone ceiling set in there. The shovel. Okay, so this will be the path here. And I am going to make that with a uh, dirt floor. You know, I actually think I will do stone brick floor um, for the tunnel itself, and probably a stone brick wall. Once I actually have the material to do it, this is the path, so yeah, I'm gonna have to. And if the tunnel starts back here, then. And, uh. Do I really want it to start back there? Let's start it. a little bit further in, actually. Oh, there we go. And. This way. Dirt. Let's start the tunnel in this layer. That'll be the first level. That's actually tunnel. So keep carving this back. Get rid of that. There we go. Oh. How is it? I always end up putting two down, thinking I'm going to go higher than I do, I guess. Alright, there we go. Natural stone walls where they exist, and uh, brick stone walls where they don't, is the way I'm going to do this. But I am going to do a brick stone floor no matter what, so. Okay. So yeah, this will be the tunnel entrance area here. The first actual wall of tunnel. Or, not wall of tunnel, but the first space that is tunnel. So again, four units up. And 
and seven, uh, nine units wide, including the path. Three, four, five, six, nine. All right. And I think I'll do like a kind of stone brick finish right at the opening and uh, exit regardless of what materials in the ceiling. And I'll do uh, either natural stone or stone brick in the ceiling if there's no natural stone there. So you dig out that. And then start digging it away. Another layer down. Another layer down, although I think I'm going to carve out this part of the ceiling, which is, uh, what is that called again? Diorite. And replace it with either natural stone or stone brick. I just don't really like the look of diorite. Okay. Another layer down. And another. Another. And another, and I finally found some coal. See how big this seam is. Alright, I got enough to uh, make 13, is that 13? I think, I think 13 torches. And still have 7 left over. So, not bad. And I can actually use this to light up the walls a little bit. I was about to light this wall and then I realized I'd turn this wall down eventually. Um, let's see. Yep. Whoa, what? Again, I keep hearing a skeleton. There's got to be a cave around here. Anyway. Took care of that dirt wall. Keep on digging. Alright, well, I carved it away to there, but night has completely fallen, and... There we go. And I'm going to spread that sugar cane as well. There we go. Back up to the uh, ring fortress. Oh wow, dark there. And there. Just all dark all over the place in here. Alright, so. We've taken what was just a little tiny pond, run it all the way out to that bigger river out there. Still need some work, obviously. I got a squid trapped over there right now, I guess. Uh, squared off some of the terrain, removed some of the foliage, expanded the farmland, planted more seed. Let's see, planted some sugar cane, cleared the trees out of that little gulch over there, and uh, started digging the tunnel to carry this river over into the next little pond area. So, this has been the Resolute Cartographer. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Uh, if you got any comments, either way, leave them for me. If you got any questions, maybe I can answer something you need to know. Uh, along with that, uh, subscribe if you haven't. You'll be given notifications when more of these videos become available. And uh, hope to see everybody again next time. Thanks.